At a time when Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill seem more divided than ever, there is one thing they all agree on, and that's our Power Player of the Week. To me, it's no secret. It's just that you try to live and treat people the way you would like to be treated. Hi, Bertie. How are you? Hey, Bertie. Bertie Bowman is talking about how he has survived and thrived on Capitol Hill for three quarters of a century. He's quite a guy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Foreign Relations Committee is the best committee on the Hill. Bertie, I'm supposed to be the star here. I don't get yeah, you the star. You are the star. <laughs> it's just like a pot of gold to me. I work with good people. And boy, do they treat me nice. His story starts in 1944, when, as one of 14 children of tenant farmers, he happened to hear South Carolina Senator Burnett Maybank. I heard the words, if you ever in Washington, stop by and see me. When he was getting ready to get in his car, the guy was over, I ran and grabbed his coattail and asked him, if I come to Washington, can I stop by and see him? He said, yes, my boy. How old were you? I was about 12 and a half, they're 13. I was going on 13. You took off for Washington at 13? Yes. Maybank hired Bowman to sweep the Capitol steps for $2 a week. He worked his way up, meeting the country's most powerful politicians and enjoying an insider view of Congress. Bertie Bowman, the former clerk of, these, of this committee for 500 years. We knew everything that comes in. We knew everything that goes out. We knew all of the business of every senator and everything. He was close with titans of the hill, like Jesse Helms and segregationist Strom Thurmond. Here he is bringing in cots when Thurmond filibustered the 1957 Civil Rights Bill for 24 hours straight. He did a lot of things behind the scene that no one has seen, and they still don't see what senators do and what they don't do and all that stuff, so you keep that to yourself. By the mid-60s, he was on the Foreign Relations Committee, where he mentored a young man from Arkansas. Bill Clinton was a messenger. We had fun, man. I used to play like I could play the guitar. Bill Clinton used to blow the satch. We used to, we used to do all kinds of things behind that door back there. Push these up a little more. These days, Bowman prepares the room for committee hearings. Checking mics. Sometime I would say, swing Lou. Escorting witnesses. And keeping time. One Senator Jim Risch starts the hearing. <laughs> so I know you're the chairman, but who runs the committee? Oh, he does, clearly. We all take orders from Bernie. Committee members recently celebrated Bowman. After the Senate Federal Credit Union announced it will name its new building after him. And I said, boy, they're showing me my roses before I... Drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> Everything look okay. Bowman turns 89 in April. When are you going to retire? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I've been talking to the good Lord every day. He hadn't said anything about retiring. This Thursday, yet another honor for Bertie Bowman. He's being inducted into the African American Credit Union Hall of Fame. And that's it for today. Have a great week. And we'll see you next Fox News Sunday.